Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna finally show you how I use Pledge Floor Polish to fix up the loose joints on my Transformer figures. Usually when I get a figure like old Ratchet here who has very loose hips, I always say in the video, you know, I'll touch him up with Pledge and he'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I've got two patients here. I've got Ratchet, who's got these really, really loose hips, and I've got Shattered Glass Blur, who has this section right here that just will not stay up. Now I know a lot of people are like, hey, there's that Kiki joint tightener, why don't you just use that? And I'm like, well, Kiki is about $12, for around 30 milliliters, milliliters, blah, however you say it, of you know fluid. You get a little bottle about yay big. But for $8, I get uh, two, 27 fluid ounces of Pledge. I've actually had this bottle for about two years and it works great. I just recently tightened the joints on Fangry here. If you're familiar with this figure at all, he had knees that were just ungodly loose. Now, I mean, he's good to go. I mean, he's got real nice, tight knee joints, thanks to Pledge here. So now, without further ado, let's get to work on Ratchet and Blur and get these joints tightened up. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, first things first is you want to have your area prepped. I have my little hobby board here just in case I spill pledge. I don't want it all over my desk or my review area. I've got my applicators and I use Q-tips. When I first started, I used little paint brushes like model brushes, but once you dip those in pledge, the brushes are shot. I mean, they just become hard as a rock. So I like using Q-tips plus I usually take one Q-tip and snip it, depending on what I'm doing. So now I have like a little applicator and I'll probably use that for blur. Just get that out of the way. And you wanna have some tissues or napkins to wipe up any messes. Now for the video to make this a little easier, I went ahead and put some pledge in this bottle cap right here. It's a lot easier to show on camera than going for the bottle. So. First things first, let's check out Blur. He only has this one section that just keeps flopping around. And no matter how you angle it, it just it just flops. I meant to fix this a long time ago. I was just getting ready to shoot a Toy Hacks video for him. And that's when I remembered this floppy piece. So if you take a look here, here's the hinge. That's where it flops. And just to show you, this other one doesn't do it at all. It's nice and smooth, but this one sucks. So I've got the hinge right there. And what you want to do is you want to get the pledge right there in the joint. So let me find my little dipper without the cotton swab on it. And what I want to do, if you can see, there's a drop of pledge on this. You just kind of drop it right there in the joint. Let's do it again. Get a couple drops, thicken that up. And once you get that in there, just kind of work that back and forth, flip around, and I always do, I attack from both sides. Let's go ahead and put some right here. I hope I can get that in shot for you. Actually, I like this bottle cap approach. I've never done that before. So now I'm gonna work that in a little bit more, and then we're just gonna set blur aside and let that pledge dry, usually about eight to 12 hours. Most times when I do this, I fix the figure, set him down, next day I check him out. So Ratchet, if you just saw my Ratchet review, he's got Shakira hips. They're really, really loose. And upon further inspection, I see that it's right here in his hip area. And there's a screw, this will focus, 
First thing I wanna do is see if tightening that screw is actually gonna help. I know I've had some G1 figures that over the years their screws have become loose. Yeah, I can tell that wasn't screwed in all the way. Okay, so now, well, that didn't do much. That's still, that's still flopping. This one, that's not as bad, but the right leg, it sucks. So, since I can actually open this up and have access to these sections right here, let's go ahead and do that. Get him apart. So once you get Ratchet's legs taken off, you'll see they're attached via these mushroom pegs. And what I've done is taken some pledge and went all the way around the mushroom peg, like so. So we're gonna let that dry a little bit, and then we're gonna reattach the legs to Ratchet. So now that I've got Ratchet's hips reattached, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little dipper here, and I'm gonna put some drops right there at the joint. Just like with Blur, get that dropped in. And then just work it around. Spin it a couple times. And now I'm gonna do the other side. Work those around. Now, I'll we'll set Ratchet over here with Blur and let him dry off. Now, you can do the same thing with figures that have ball joints. I actually have done this with Cinder Sore here. This arm was super loose. So all you do with the ball joints, pop the arm off or pop the joint off, take your swab and just go around the joint like so. So she's gonna have extra tight arms. And then just pop it on, work it around, and set her to the side. And now the hardest part of this whole fix, the weight. So let's check back on these guys in about eight to 12 hours. A few hours later. All right, so it's been about four and a half hours. So let's check on our patients here. Starting with Blur, holding him here, you can see that arm flap is not flopping like it was before. I mean, shaking pretty hard, it still comes down, but nothing like it was before. It's still got that little bit of a give that may be because of all the weight. Then again, I may not have let him dry long enough. I might give him an extra application. Now the main guy here, Ratchet. There we go. That's awesome. It really worked with Ratchet. Of course, I put the pledge on the inside, on the pegs, and on the outside. And man, that that works really good, especially for only about five hours. Usually, I have to wait all night to get results like that. I can still see that leg flopping a little bit, but nothing like it was. So he is 100% better. So there you go, guys. That's how I tighten the joints on my Transformer figures using Pledge Floor Care. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I wanna give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!